if you watch carefully you will see that what the day trend is saying and what the one hour time frame is saying um are working in different tone now but they are moving in the same direction but it depends on the knowledge you have that will help you to put all those things through remember that few hours ago that this thing was somewhere below it was as a weak candle something like this but presently now when i drop these two lines you will be with me that these two lines were somehow um they happened in a weak candle but the market retraced and formed this bullish candle that is moving this direction right now that is making this move right away so based on this it's not something that you can just easily say that this is how this market is going to be without a careful and practical analysis now look at it when we drop those things here it looks as if that this market will not make any move because what we are seeing is something that points to this very direction something like this but do you know that this was the end of the market that ever since that time all these things were going up like this so when these breakouts happened in this form people this here and now this point now become a time for entry this point now becomes the accurate time for you to place your trade and make a huge profit of all those things now let me quickly say this do you know that when you have this careful analysis that you can take over the market and people would think that maybe you uh maybe you have you are you are trading with them or not knowing that what you are doing is real why because we are careful enough to see things when it happens now look at where the problem is which i've been warning all my trail all my subscribers i keep warning them in a time like this it's not a sign that the market has finally been um, breaking out in a time like this in a time like this it's not a sign that the market has finally broken out in a time like this it's not a sign that the market has finally broken out in a time like this it's not a sign that the market has finally broken out even here it's not a sign because anyone that entered here have seen this thing and i told you that the market must test first like what happened here this market open remember that this thing that sparked back is also um a bullish candle that started a move then the market pulled down to this area and opened another one so that is why i keep advising people it's either you trade a breakout point mostly from a higher time frame mostly from a higher time frame then once you see that breakout from a higher time frame come back anything you see in your lower time frame will become an easy and most accessible thing for you to do which will give you more confidence and more easy going market without any stress now look at this so to answer your question what can i do to see that this something of this nature is coming let me go back again to the same market that was started earlier this is um this is boom uh crash one uh, crash 500 sorry this is crash 500 i showed us something here today now what do we have as a challenge in this market in consideration before we place our trade what moving average are you using it's a question that you must ask yourself what are you using to indicate to confirm your candlestick movement to be sure that this candle is making the move you, you need now look at this place this is a dead trend this candle open today and this candle must close today this candle you are seeing open today and must close today and the move the candle is going is in this direction this is what the candle should go to i mean this is where the candle should go to because it is a bullish candle why bearish come down to this point do you get that do you get that so that candle you are seeing should come down to this very direction and as long as it's coming to this direction one of the things you should know is this that it's possible for this candle that you are seeing now to eventually come down to this direction because of what we call spike that this market changed a direction now doesn't mean that this candle is no longer a bullish candle this candle remains a bullish candle why that is why watch 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 what i'm ab about to show you now that is why 
when you have a candle like this when you have a candle like this let's just take it when you have a very big candle like this at a time the candle will spike and leave something like this then all of a sudden it will spike again and leave something like this for you then what you will have is something like this something like this at the middle making this thing indecision candle whatever that happens between here and here takes 24 hours before it happens so that is one funny thing you must have in mind and once you have those things in mind it makes you to be i don't know you trade with more knowledge and it will be easier for you to be placing your trade more carefully come on let me say this thing again when you have a market that looks like this let me just use this thing as an example when you have a market that looks like this in such a market when you have a market like this this market now unfortunately this is the full candle for the day and you should know that in this candle one this candle is divided into four something like this something like this so it's divided into four but i'm just using this thread now when the spike will come the spike can easily the candle was moving in this direction at first and completely direct direct um or, or direct to this move like this now something happened that is spiked to this point when it spiked to this point what you'll be seeing here is one weak candle here because it has first to reach out to this place then all of a sudden the market keeps spiking and get to this point what you will have again is also a very long weak candle like this leaving this place like this uh well, let me just find that one something like this something like this something like what you have here now look at it so once you have something like this all those things still happened in a day so what you should trade in this market is once you have seen that this market is making this move and you place your support and resistance zone you track where the price action is and remember that wherever you have the price action is likely where the market is going to stop a bit next time if you have the price from this angle if you have the resistance the support zone from this angle if you have a price action from this very angle this market cannot come here and cross easily this market must stop a little bit here and why this thing is stopping here, this time is still counting in your lower time frame and once this thing is still happening here even if the market decided to spike back and come down to this place it will not cross this place easily let me show you something it will stop here a little let me show you something it will stop there a little and also here so when the market decides to come here it will stop here a little so that is why it is very very important that you you indicate where the resistance and support zone is for example this is the support zone of this market so if this thing should break out here it will have a little break here get that straight if the market eventually cross there it will have a little stop here again so whatever that happens the market goes like this comes goes like this and comes it will have this kind of move sometimes it will go higher than this and let her come back to this place it will keep going like this and let her come back that doesn't mean that the market has breaking out from its position what you are seeing is that the market is doing what you call a consolidation or the market is ranging like what you have here now for you that have a little account twenty dollars fifty dollars hundred dollars the only thing you should be careful of is what the candle is doing here if you find out that this candle that this is what the candle is doing here now like this little spike you are seeing in this place if you go to your lower time frame like five minutes it will surprise you the flicks 
of long candle you will see can you see it can you see it so the market made a move from this angle look at it so when the market was making that move it is an opportunity for you to place your trade now some people will place here and say that this market is going to come down without first of all considering the nature of the candle from their higher time frame which shows them that this market in no way has every has no opportunity to move down to this direction again and that is why a lot of them will place for spike instead of them to see a spike they will see one long candle opening opening closing and opening and going directional to uh, direction again uh, moving direction um, opposite to the direction they expected so with this it becomes so confusing and they think that the strategy is not working so instead of you to do that apply this get this thing straight please apply this in your five minutes time frame i'll keep saying this and i want somebody to make money using this thing in the five minutes time frame please apply this we already have 10 this thing so the first moving average you're seeing is 10. instead of you to be confused and to confuse yourself apply this this time apply 10. i change this to apply 12 the second one then the third one uh apply 26 sorry apply 26 then i will change the color to something like this good then the last one that will help you to see the total movement of the market in clarity apply 50. do you know why you must apply 50 to help you detect the trending market if actually the market has finally broken out so using these things helps you to be sure because let's take the trend of the market for the day as a case study here presently now let's place this thing here let's place this here right here at the current um candle that just opened in five minutes time frame now if you go to one hour time frame if you go to like one hour time frame it will show you that this candle is still counting do you see that it shows you that the candle is still counting are you seeing it so if you check your time frame if you check your time your normal uh anti-clock your normal watch time or android time if you check it you will see that this time of what you have here you don't have all the time and you don't expect this market to come down to this direction so since this market have taken this y to move up like this that is to say that at this point this market have pushed with the strength and now sellers have showed up either to make this thing go to this direction or for this to continue at this point you don't need to trade this except to have a capital why because it has finally succeeded to breaking out from this place from this very angle here so let's assume that you saw when this candle was opening after here you will have entered from here and by so doing you must have closed before now you must have closed before now because from this place to this place is nothing less than 40 to 45 candles in your one hour in your one one minute time frame so sir the question you ask this is how we do it we check the candle from the higher time frame and we'll step down to the lower time frame and once we do that it becomes more easier for us to see the current picture of the market and with that stress we'll work with what we have and we'll get accurate results so, so for you to place your trade apply the whole distance you have here then if you likely have your support and resist um your rsi is also a good one for you to apply and with that it signifies that you still have something in store that will help you to get what you want so every crossing you see like this always make a conclusion of a market look at this so you trade this one here you trade from this candle if you are careful to see this remember that of all the drama you'll be seeing you can never have a market that will come below and cross your entry point so if you trade from this candle this is what you will see and as simple as that you have started making money 
But the problem people have is that they hardly see this. Sometimes they will tread here. Sometimes they will tread here. Sometimes they will tread here. Sometimes they will tread this. This is not what I mean. Allow the whole thing to cross together from your higher time frame. Once you confirm one good entry point from your higher time frame, you are good to go. Anything you do in your one minute time frame, five minutes time frame, 15 minutes time frame will be in your favor and you will make good profits. I know that what I'm saying may be a little bit difficult for you, but try and practice this. Please practice those things. Do you remember that they said that practice make perfect? Do you see that? Practice make perfect. And I will keep emphasizing on this. If you join my mentorship class and till now you have not started making profit, please chat me up on my private WhatsApp line. Chat me up. Chat me up because our mentorship uh, will be having our general training this week in a Zoom meeting or a Google meeting to this week so i'll be posting it in our world so please wherever you are any part of the world that you are start programming your service level because we shall be meeting once again in this month that we are in we shall be meeting again so always guide yourself because it's going to be a wonderful moment we'll be meeting every student from all over the world we shall be meeting together so please get yourself prepared get yourself prepared get yourself prepared it's not going to be uh and this is something sure but we we'll have to pay the price to bring you up to the limelight look at what i'm showing you it's as simple as that this is the entry point this is the entry point it's not too hard but it's just all about patience it's, it's not it's just all about patience and let me warn you if you place a trade mistakenly that the market is going against you if you are careful about your analysis don't close that trade sometimes you it will surprise you that immediately you close the trade the market starts reversing and what you wanted is no longer what you see and i encourage you to don't give up if all i'm saying is confusing to you you don't understand it at all everything is sounding upward to you look for a mentor because what i'm telling you is the realities so if you don't understand it i wonder how you make money on forest someone asked me why do you draw videos every day i have to draw videos because in my side of the country where i came from people really need to succeed because government is becoming something else it's government is so i don't need to sit down and watch people that i can feed my family doesn't mean that any other person can do so so the little way i can help i have to do that so we must drop videos we must keep dropping videos you check anyone that is suitable for you please watch and if you watch you don't understand don't use your life thread to practice because you only end up blowing up your account because when you don't have the right knowledge you cannot get the right results so keep practicing those things you will get to your destination one good day my name is gdfx my heartfelt and my desire is for you to succeed and if you're looking for a mentor who you can trust for a while please i beg you to locate gdfx i will be of assistance to you i know what people are passing through i know how people are feeling please don't come with the mindset of trying to make me to bear the consequences of your loss i was not the one that pushed you to the loss i am only here to help you remember that the mentorship is not free but one thing i know i can help you is if you can bend down to learn i will make sure that you will never remain the same i will make sure that with the little knowledge and with little help of god i will assist you to come to a level where you can place your thread and come out successfully i am sure to say this that 80 percent of all that have paid me for mentorship if they paid me 500 dollars at least 80 percent of them have made not less than three thousand dollars so there is, is i don't think it's possible for you to pay me like this amount of money and you are below this it's not possible instead i will make a time to guide you to trade so that i'll be sure because i believe in karma so that i'll be sure that you will not have me in the list of scammers you know 
that is one thing i am sure i will always do to everyone that have joined my mentorship class my name is gd fx my hard desire is to see you succeed if you have chosen forest trading as a course i'll be dropping a video on this to tell you some of the guidelines some of the things you must have or do before you would take forest as your business so that before you quit your work somebody sent me a message so i need to answer it on a video um should i quit my work i need to quit my work to focus on forest and uh, i'll be making money before you do that please don't do that fast before you do that watch that video because it's going to be of a great help to you because some of the things we faced some of the challenges we faced some people are married some people have kids so it's not something you just quit immediately and use your last card to deposit because any money that is gone may not return that is one thing you should know my name is judy stay by and remain focused thank you